so let's see the circuit diagram first uh, so here we have our Arduino Nano and this is our SIM card module uh, please keep in mind that the SIM card module uh, requires a stable power and it is range between normally 3.7 volt to 4.3 volt uh, I am using a lipo battery uh, I suggest using a lipo battery because I have tried many power switches and uh, this works the best and uh, the SIM card module draws maximum of 2 ampere current so in this case I am using a 2000 mAh battery and you can power the Arduino uh, using your PC or any 5 volt source. So the 5 volt, uh, so the uh, 3.7 volt goes to the DCC pin of the SIM card module. Uh, actually, this is not SIM 800L module. Uh, I am uh, using a uh, random SIM card module from the switching, but in case of SIM 800L, uh, this will be uh, the DCC pin. So connect the 3.7 volt to the DCC pin and the ground pin. Uh, of the battery to the ground pin of the SIM card module and we have to connect the ground of Arduino and the ground of the battery or the SIM card module. Now uh, connect the TX pin of the SIM card module to the D8 pin of the Arduino Nano and in case of the RX pin uh, we know that Arduino uh, keeps a voltage uh, of 5 volt so the transport we need to step down this voltage so i am using a voltage divider here i am using a 1k resistor and a 2k resistor and the 5 volt signal from the arduino goes to the 1k resistor and the other terminal to the ground and we will take the signal in between these two resistors uh, if you have a uh, basic understanding of how voltage divider works then you will understand uh, it's simple uh, and from here we are connecting it to the RX pin um, I suggest using the voltage divider and uh, stepping down the voltage uh, sometimes the SIM card module uh, gets uh, stuck um, or it becomes unresponsive because of the high voltage so now it will get a voltage in the range between 3.7 uh, to 4.3 so the circuit diagram is very simple uh, now we can uh, go to our uh, server part. So now I have logged into my C panel. Uh, from here, uh, choose my SQL database user. And now we have to create a database. Let's name it sample. And next step. Uh, now we have to create a user for this database. Say, uh, let's say the user is also sample user and after that uh, you have to set password for this user uh, set, uh, set these passwords and then uh, click create user So we have created uh, our sample user, so I have misspelled it. This would be a sample user, but no problem. Uh, we can use this name also. And from here, uh, we'll give it all the privileges and make changes. Okay, so our database is now created. Uh, now it's time uh, we create the PHP file. So in the root directory of your website, uh, create a file named uh, get method.php and uh, we'll go to the edit section when you come here uh, we can see first uh, we have our server name uh, then we have to uh, enter our database name in this case our database name is sample and the username is Okay, uh, and you have to leave your password that you set earlier here, and we'll use the get method to uh, get the data from the link. Uh, please uh, don't change these things below here. Uh, keep this as it is. You just have to change these values. Uh, give your password here, and then 
save it. Okay, now we will go back to our cPanel and from here we will choose PHP My Admin and uh, here is the database that we created just now. So we will choose this database. And here uh, we have to create a table. Uh, go to the SQL section and paste uh, this code. It will create uh, three variables. First one is the ID. Second one, here we will store our data, the val, and it will uh, record the reading time. So now let's create let's go. Now we can see our table being created. Uh, there is no value here because uh, we haven't done our RTD no coding part yet, but we are set with our server part. Now it's time to prepare the RTD no code. We are using the software serial library, and uh, inside the software serial, uh, we have to initialize the pin numbers. We have connected the TX pin of the SIM card module to pin 8 and uh, pin 7. Uh, is the rx pin and we have to define the apn name the sim you are using it is dependent on your uh, sim card uh, please search on the, on the internet by your sim uh, what is the apn name uh, in uh, in my case it is internet and this is apn username and password uh, if you have it uh, put it in here uh, in my case this is not necessary and this is the uh, url link that uh, uh, from which uh, uh, the GPRS module uh, will send the data so this is the method we created on our root directory of the website git method.php and I am initializing a counter I will just send this counter value uh, that will be implemented by one you can send any kind of data depending on uh, what kind of uh, variable you have created on the website uh, on your database so uh, we are using the serial.begin and the, our software serial.begin both are at uh, 9600 uh, baud rate and we are giving a delay of 15 seconds to let the um, uh, GPRS module or the, our SIM card module uh, started and find the networks uh, this function is responsible for sending data to the server and inside our loop uh, void loop function uh, we are just incrementing the counter and this is the data we will be sending uh, we are converting the counter uh, the integer variable into a string type and then we are passing it to our gsm http post the function will send that will send the data and here we can see uh, we have taken a string variable and we have to add this parameter this is the name pal by which the, um, the website will identify that where to put the data okay now go ahead and upload this code to your arduino Okay, so now let's open the serial monitor. Okay, it has set our APN, and this is the IP of our SIM. Okay, the value one is sent. Sent one.
Okay, now if you see uh, at our database that the value of one has been sent uh, by this uh, method, you can send any kind of data. Uh, so this is the tutorial. Uh, I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.